Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jamaris, and today I'm here with another one of these videos. Still don't know exactly what I'm calling them yet. But anyway, uh, today we're not going to talk something gaming per se, but something kind of related to gaming. And that's has to do with artwork. And uh, one of the art programs that I love to use is Adobe Illustrator. And to help me out with this, I've brought a Adobe Illustrator expert. Oh, I wouldn't uh, say that. <laughs> All right, someone who's very good at drawing with Adobe Illustrator. How does that sound? I, I don't know about that one either, but I can draw with Illustrator. <laughs> Not making me very look very good. You know that, right? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's my friend Slow Silver. So um, we're going to kind of talk about a few things because as I was going through this semester, a lot of people were asking me, what did you make your graphics with, man? Everybody here is like surfer dudes. So it's like, you know I what know. I'm saying, man? <laughs> uh, that's why my surfer dude accent is so awful. It's because I have to listen to it all day long. <laughs> I they... thought it's, supposed, it's supposed to be good if you listen to it all the time. <laughs> yeah, but I block everybody out. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so we're going to talk about like good places to get started. We're also going to talk about different techniques and a few issue and a couple of issues that we have with people that use certain just artwork in general. All right, so um, we're going to start with kind of like how to get started, good places to look for, tutorials, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the one site that both me and Slow really like is uh, lynda.com. Uh, lynda.com is, well, if you go for the cheapest, what is it, like 20 bucks a month? I'm not sure what the cheapest or most expensive is, but that sounds good. I, I know the most expensive is like 37 if I recall. Oh, you know what? That ain't bad. It's not that ain't bad. bad. I That's mean, probably with all of the all the downloads for the yeah, special for the stuff files. you get. Yeah, for the project files. So like yeah. if you pay like thirty seven bucks a month, which if you think about it, if you're just going to do one thing, you only have to pay for it for one month. I mean, if you watch it every single day, like three hours like well not three hours, like three videos a day, if you think about it, you only watch you only pay for it like a month because it's like ninety videos if you do three videos a day. It's a thirty month year 30 day month that's yeah about 90 videos uh which is more than enough to cover an entire topic that you want to do so it's like 37 bucks to do one course if you want to think of it that way it is a course that's what it's called right yeah they're called courses but i'm using quotations because oh not everyone will look at it like it's a course <laughs> those invisible air audio quotation yeah, marks of course i got that i on board now <laughs> yeah and then, so basically, yeah, lynda.com is the best place to go to because it's taught by experts and they have different versions. So, like, if you don't have the latest version, you can go back. Um, it's all done professionally by people who have been doing it for years. Who knows how long? Yeah. Years. Since they least, were... I think it's a, I think like the, you have to be certified to have been doing it for at least 10 years, I think. Oh, really? Wow. I think That's so. It's like the, with the, with the Illustrator and the Photoshop ones, I'm pretty sure, because they're almost always taught by old people. They uh, are. <laughs> my gosh. And one guy in particular, man. Poor yeah. guy. I know. I, I, it's it's all like professors and stuff. He's going to so. see this video and start crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, taking a quick drink. Um, so, yeah, Linda.com, really good place. Um, of course, if you don't have $37 or the three hours a day, and I say three hours is kind of like as a general statement. I don't really mean three whole hours. That's it. You guys can only watch it for three hours a day. Yeah, that's it. You know, just that's it. That's all. Yeah. I that's would all say straight. an average about three videos a day would be a good would be a good place. Uh, uh, they get too intense for me. Like I, after one, I'm like brain dead. <laughs> but, you know. I I used to do I used to do six. So it kind of depends on depends on who you talent. It depends on your 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 capabilities, but average person probably three three videos a day. I'd say that's that's a good average. Um, but if you can't do that for whatever reason, of course you can always go to YouTube. YouTube's free. We all love YouTube, except Gotta love them. except for the problem that you might not get as good of a quality or direction from YouTube. Like you can find everything on Lynda.com. You can all everything on Lynda.com can be found on YouTube, but the quality will probably not be anywhere close to it. So if you want really, really good tutorials, go to lynda.com. All right, so now that we've talked about that harsh transition in effect, 
We're going to talk about kind of like different ways that we do our particular artwork. Like me, I've been using it. I think I think I've been using it about four years. Um, I want to say it was my first year in college, and I'm in my third year. But then I took a year off, so about four years. About four years in is in um, that I've been using uh, Illustrator, and definitely gonna say that my favorite tool in Illustrator is the pen tool because. It's just what I learned to use in college, and I really like using it, and it's just good for what I want to do. I mostly make logos, so again, depending on what you want to make, it's what you want to use. I use the pen tool for logos because it works best. However, just to my recent knowledge, as in <laughs> less than an hour ago, Miss <laughs> Slow Silver decided to inform me of another tool called the paintbrush tool, which I yes. thought was like really weird because i tried it a little bit ago and i was like oh, it's so weird <laughs> it's amazing it's totally awesome all uh, right so slow kind of tell us like why do you use the paintbrush tool how do you use it and like what would you use it for for instance well i can answer the first one or the last of the first <laughs> um i use it for drawing so it's the best to use it for, you know. Okay. But <laughs> like um, I, I like I personally the reason why I use the paintbrush tool as opposed to like the pen tool um, is I, I like how I don't know it's a little bit more uh, uh, organic in in when you're drawing and stuff. Uh, it's a little tons I think definitely less control. But I don't know I'm a fan of the look of the of you know when you're drawing with it. <laughs> it's my personal favorite. Yeah, it's a good answer. Um, so yeah, yeah, I guess I guess that's pretty much pretty much what it is as far as like would, would that pretty much sum it up? It's just personal preference. Would that be definitely, it? definitely, yeah. At least, I mean, and you kind of have to figure out how to use it too because um, if you double click on it, uh, there's different um, controls and settings to help you kind of be able to use it better with a mouse. Because I, I don't I don't draw with a stylus or anything, so. There you go. You're already here, folks. You don't, need a, you don't need a stylus. No, you don't. I think for me, I'm not necessarily more of an artist. I'm more of a designer. So the pen tool or the pen, uh, the, the uh, paintbrush tool kind of is a tool for me to be able to use just to kind of get out the, these designs. As I don't know if I necessarily have a talent for drawing. I've only started drawing about a year and a half. So I like, I don't know. I don't know, folks, for a year and a half, she's pretty dang good. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I don't... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just alert, but... saying. I'm just saying. The thumbnail for these, for this show is, like, not the best, all right? And hey, that's... I looked at that. That's a good one. I like that one, actually. Uh, all, right. all right. Personal preference. Personal preference. I gotta, I gotta go look now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go look. I just lied like 30 no, seconds. No, no, I saw it, but now I gotta go. I remember seeing it last night when I was looking on your channel. But now, see, I put in Jamoris Gaming, and my video comes up. I know. That's, <laughs> just, that's how it works. I'm not popular, guys. <laughs> that's it. Give this video a like. Yeah. It's... For the love of peace. <laughs> for, the love, for the love of my name. <laughs> like, it, I think it's like if you don't put that space. Because if you put the space between Jamoris and gaming. Oh, I've made it all one word, and it hates me. I know. I, I. It's my fault because I did not make it all one word. Oh no! Oh, it is a space. You mean? Yeah. If if you put the oh, space, it comes dude, up originally. Oh, dude! I got it now. See, like, it's my fault for doing that. So I guess I gotta go and fix it. Hey, mine is slow space silver. So you know, same. Yeah. It's so like if I put in slow silver. See, we went from Illustrator to the YouTube <laughs> search box. That's that's how this is why it's called Rambles and Shambles. It's because it never stays on topic. <laughs> anyway, so um, one of the things that Slow was having an issue that she was having, and I noticed it, of course, after she mentions it, because it's like it's like you, you know you know the Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Oh, like the movie the, the Dark movie, Knight. Yeah, the movie Dark Knight. Okay. I never saw it, but I know what you're talking about. Okay, you've seen Batman Begins, right? With the scarecrow? Yeah, scarecrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know that Christian Bale has an eye wart right on in on his left eye, right by the bridge of his nose? Oh boy. Like, try now watching that without noticing that. 
Oh, like, what? great. What? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, like, if you watch the Honest trailers, because that's where I saw it, that's, oh, no. where, that's where I saw it. That's where I saw it. It's like, now try watching this trailer without noticing it. And they're right. You can't start you oh, now without noticing it. Man, that is the worst. <laughs> So that that's like how that's like how it works. Anyway, so she her problem is positioning. Like a lot of people like do bad positioning in their in their profile pictures because like she brought up a really good point, and I guess I should let Slow talk about it. So take it away. <laughs> um, well, the kind of positioning that I think art is not just about capturing the attention. I believe that it's also used to guide the attention, and in the most ca- or in lots of cases, at least on the internet. It's more, it's, it's a function, uh, you know, for websites selling different things. They want you to guide, it's used to guide the attention to the product you're trying to sell or, you know, just in general <laughs> to guide the attention. That really, and, and to guide the attention, you really have to focus on how, you're, how you pose and position your pieces of work, artwork. Um, so, like, for me, my biggest, like, my biggest tip is with profile pictures because, um, most sites have those profile pictures up on the left, uh, up on the left hand side of your screen. And if you face anything towards that left hand side, so like maybe your character is facing towards the left hand side, like I see lots of um, ones with swords on that particular end, it totally veers your eyes off, and you and you completely miss the post, which is the reason why you have a profile picture just to get you to read that post. Um, so. Like please, with the with the profile pictures, always want to make sure that you have everything facing. All the energy is going right towards that right side, so that you read everything. Um, but yeah, same with logos and and being able to guide your eyes towards your content, what you want people to see. Right, and and that's that's like another thing is like when I would when I typically make logos because. Um, a lot of times logos will be on like business cards or they'll be on, on letterheads or they'll be on, you know, just about anything. When you make, as far as like, as far as like a logo goes, you don't want it to like veer. That's why circles are always great in logos because they don't veer left or right or up or down. You can literally like put them anywhere and it doesn't really distract the person from whatever you're trying to make them see. Um, but if you absolutely have to, I would suggest the right because the eye naturally reads from left to right. Now I know in some instances like manga, it goes right to left, but you know what? I'm American. That's how I was raised. That's how it works in this, in this place. Okay. Just (laughs) deal with it. That's another thing. It's like, is if, but, but again, if you're, it depends on who you're like working for. Like if you're working, if you're doing something for like a, a Eastern country oriental style country you do want to go to right to left because that's how their culture is you want to obey the culture that you're working for so i guess that's kind of like what it is with with you with the internet but you're right though is most sites is left to right it's just yeah whatever your app whatever your 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 art is going to be applied to make sure that it's kind of works around those things i'm still learning that i know because i do i do front i do front shots and I'm very difficult with with posing and stuff because you know I've never drawn before, so it's all kind of new, lots of experimenting. So I do lots of just face on, but I try to get like in, if I have anything that sways, I try to sway it towards that right hand side to kind of just you just coax the eyes to what you want them to read. Right. Um, but it'd be really like I've done some that are 3D that are more towards that left hand or that right hand side, but I don't know. Well, if you look at a lot of a lot of three quarters pictures, um, for those of you guys who don't know, three quarter pictures are like you can see all of one side but not quite all of the other side. Um, I saw an advertisement actually today while I was walking to um, a final, and um, the person's like the sign. It was like a picture of like a head. It was like I can't remember the guy. I think it was like Danny's or something. It was like Danny's love and sandwiches, right? Well, he put the sign. I don't know if this is deliberate or not, but he put the sign on the on the walk on the street. But his his eyes in the picture, like the character's eyes in the picture, were facing to the to the right of my right, not his right, my right. So basically, he was looking left, and that was the direction of his restaurant. So my eyes naturally went to the right, and I saw his restaurant. Again, I don't know if that was deliberate or not, but it. 
that's kind of like what we're talking about is you want it to go towards something. You want that almost like a subliminal message. Look in this direction. So. Yeah, the energy is facing towards that side. I mean, and, and that's not, not only is it that way, but your brain is naturally trained to, oh, where, where's that person looking? You know, you always have to look where everybody's looking or, or where you're facing, where your, your body's facing, and that energy's flowing towards that direction. Your brain automatically, it's just, it's just instinct. It just happens. Right, and here's so. like another, another way to think about it. Let's just say you're walking by um, a shop, and you see like uh, a small gr- crowd of people looking – into the shop toward, you know, maybe it's like an opening or something or they're waiting for it to open. Well, you see that, you see all those people, where's your eye do, directly going to go? It's going to go towards that. It's not going to look at the other side of the street. It's going to naturally go that way. So that's kind of like, you want to make that suggestion, look in this direction, just like how those people are making this su- suggestion towards the store, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, positioning guys, get on it. Stop. Doing oh my it. gosh. I think the best, uh, the best profile picture, I'm sorry to cut you off. <laughs> the best Don't profile worry, picture that I saw, um, that, that really, really utilized, um, that kind of trying to get you to look in that direction was, I think it was Redstone Creations profile picture and it was him looking forward and he, he actually was pointing towards whatever his text was. Like the avatar was him pointing. And that, like every single time I looked at that profile picture, I immediately read up what he was, what he put. And I wouldn't normally usually, I don't know if I would or wouldn't, but it was like, it was strange. Every time it was like this pointing avatar. I absolutely love that. I'm going to steal that one of these days, but <laughs> oh my gosh, it was the best, the best position, best positioning. Again, uh, maybe it energy. wasn't deliberate, but it was, it was definitely well executed. Yeah, very well, very well done. Very well. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end that on a good note. Thank you for bringing that up, Saul. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do a new thing where I'm going to put a Nightcore song at the end of the video. Today's Nightcore is going to be Castle of Glass. The original uh, song is by Linkin Park. And the Nightcore episode was by War... I'm going to try and get this right. It was War War Rock 1154. I'll put a link in the video description if... Um, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Bye.
in this castle of glass Hardly anything else I need to be